what is going on guys in today's video I'll be showing you something new that I'm doing to the Corvette after about a month of waiting the package finally came in it's a 160 degree Mishimoto thermostat the C7's factory thermostat opens up at 195 degrees which is a little too late for my liking there's a reason to why I wanted to open up at 160 but that's gonna come in a later video let me show you guys how to put this in so the first step is make sure guys that you drain all your radiator fluid the next step is grab some pliers and unhook this hose right here. Slide this clamp off, just like that. The next thing you wanna do is grab an extension, a socket wrench, and a number 10 socket. Come back to the engine bay. Right here inside is where the thermostat is. You're gonna to try to take off these three bolts. Forgive me, it is quite difficult to work with the camera in one hand and with the socket wrench. As you unbolt these, even though you drained your radiator fluid, you'll still have some radiator fluid coming out. Don't worry about that, just clean it up underneath. Pull this right out and you can almost see the, the original thermostat in there. So this will be kind of hard for me to show you guys how to do it since one of my hands is not free. But this right here is spring-loaded. You can push right on it. And as you push down, these two parts will twist right off. And that's how you get the thermostat off. And right here, you see how I twisted it off and it's starting to come out? Just push it down more and twist some more and it'll pop right off. And this is what it will look like when it's right about to come off right here. You can just twist it a little bit more and it pops right off. That spring comes off easily. But I'm only using one hand here. And then, the actual thermostat is inside right here. You slide it out. There we go. This is my thermostat. The same way you guys took everything off, let's reverse that and put it all back together. This is what it looks like with the thermostat back on. This is the new one. It's a little bigger, but it's not a big deal. It easily fits. Okay, put all the bolts back. And make sure you guys don't over tighten. Okay. Make sure they're snug and tight. But don't break it. Slide the hose back right on this spot. And clamp it down with some pliers. When everything is done, I did not drain my radiator fluid. So I had quite a bit leak out out of that little thermostat housing. But that's okay. I'm just gonna open up this reservoir and fill it up. And make sure you guys use Dexcool approved for GM vehicles. Right there, on the tank itself, there's a little line, and it'll show fill line right there. And you wanna only go to that line right there. That's the, that's the highest amount you wanna fill it up with. Now don't go crazy. Fill it up a little bit, lift the funnel up, and check see where it's at and it will just usually just go down and then after you filled it up to the fill line the best thing to do is start the car up and let it run you got to make sure that all the air escapes and is out of the lines all right guys and that's it it's pretty easy to do nothing special to it took me a little longer since I'm holding the camera and I was holding the tools and I was trying to show you guys how to do it but anyway look once the car is off check the fluid levels make sure they're good if not top it off just a little bit more and close the cap again take a rag wipe everything down you know they could have probably spilled some radiator fluid here and there clean it all up and that's it close the hood hey guys I'm glad you stopped by I'll see you guys next time and subscribe to the channel